you are going to take a box and a flashlight. Now the box isn't important to you right now, but what is inside the box are two mirrors, two small mirrors. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to play with the light from the flashlight and the two mirrors. Let's see if we can aim here, make it bounce off here, and come over. Just hit right there and then put it there. Nothing's going to happen on the other side. Wait, no. It's just going to be bounce. It's going to be like this. So then if, it's the, if, the, if it's against the mirror, if the mirror is straight like this, then it's not going to be able to. But if the mirror is angled, it's going to bounce off and hit somewhere if it's, else. If it's what did you notice about the materials you were using this time? The properties of what you were using this time? Um, we had to angle it um, a different way and it had to, um, it was shining on the ceiling. Without, the flashlight wasn't, but because no. of the angle you had the mirror. It bounced off. It bounced off, it reflected, yes. All right, take a look up front. In your boxes, you have this card that looks like mine. And you are going to take card A. That's the card that has the two slits. You're going to want to place it at card A, the line for card A right here. You're going to want to see what the light does when you shine it on the card. <gasps> so it looks like a fan. So yeah, let's come from now. Let's go. All right now. Like you see, it looks like a If you can hear me, pop one. But you are going to add card B, which has one slit. I want to hear your predictions. It will stop right. It will stop and it won't go through the little slot because it's the little lines in the middle, and that's in the middle. So I don't think it's going to. Okay. So try it. Can we put it in this one? Oh, yes, fan. I knew it. I knew it. I just knew it. Is it coming through both of these slits into this one, or is it one slit going into one? I think it's one. I think it's both. Flashlight's off. I heard some very interesting things happening here. And what happened? I didn't get to talk to all the groups. What did happen? That means it, see, the light is shining here, and it's depending on where I'm moving it. That's that's where these two poles are coming. They're going the opposite direction I move it. Did you notice that? If you move the flashlight, then it was where light those light... the opposite direction. I need you to think about everything that we did today because when you come back, when I see you again tomorrow, I'm going to ask you, which one of the things that we know about light fit what we did today. Remember what you did when you were shining the flashlight through card A with one slit and card B with two slits? The question we were trying to answer is, how does light travel? Yes. Okay. Which we saw on our what do we know, right? You're gonna work a little bit with mirrors today to just further our knowledge about how light travels. So you each have your box, or each group of three, you'll have your box with your mirror on it, and you will have, and I'll put this up here for you to see, in, you're going to get an angle of reflection <coughs> test one. Make sure you keep track of those because you are also going to get an angle of reflection test two. Now, what you need to de do down here is predict and a kind of an educated guess. What letter do you think the reflected light will hit? What do you think it's going to bounce off? So you, I'm pretty sure you know it's not going to bounce off E or D. So it can only bounce off C, B, or A.
Now, I have a challenge for you within this challenge, and this is optional. This is not a have to have. But are any of you protractor trained? Usually that's not something that happens in third grade. It's not until like fourth or fifth you become trained in using these. This is mine. <laughs> and the purpose of this is to measure angles. So I would encourage you just to try it. I have lots. I think that that lines up. I thought it went like... Well, I kind of agree with kind Michael of went, yeah, because the first time we did that, he's well, actually true because I it went here. Yeah, but I think it's B. So on the gray line, here, and up. There it goes. There you got it. Ours hit C. Ours hit, ours hit C, no, but, but it, was, it was in front. The mirror was up here. So. It's on A. So what's your final conclusion, you a. think? A. a. What do you guys think? A. a. Okay. In your notebook, you have like a perfect picture of a light ray beaming into a mirror, reflecting off and beaming out. But there's special names that they've attached to the name of those angles. So where the flashlight is going into the mirror, that angle inside there is called what? Yes. Incidence. It's called the angle of incidence. And that angle that's inside there, right here, is called the angle of? Angle of reflection. Yes, angle of reflection. So now we have new language to use. We have a second test to do now. Okay, predict first. Go to that page where you predict, and then do the test. <laughs> We all guess B. I think I think A because it it's closer and it'll go like farther away from It's B. B. Okay. It's B. I'm okay. Marie. Yeah. We need the ruling. So I'm gonna tell you why it was B. Because look, when it goes down there, however far away it goes, like, it, since it was that far away, it went to this far away, B. This far away, C. So 40 degrees. And 40 degrees. 40 degrees. 40, 40. There it goes. It goes right. Did you see that? It went right on B. B is 40. And you said B coming out is? It's right there. It's 40, 40. Okay. Ooh, B, B. nice. Yes. Well, that's a nice beam you had going there. We got we we got that our answer is straight. Yep, okay. Bit. Our answer is B. It's B. Did a nice job. Now it's time to reflect. Our brains reflect too, just like light. What did I just see happen with the angle of incident and the angle of reflection? Yes. Um it that was the and the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection, they kept matching up. Okay, did you hear that? What she noticed is the angle of incident and the re angle of reflection are matching up. This is where she then says, she uses her data and she says, for example. Mm -hmm. For example, it got, um, mine got 44. For example. Um, the angle of incident in test two was 40 degrees, and the angle of reflection was 40 degrees. Well, there's, they have like their own line of symmetry split down the middle of it. If you split it in half where the C is, it's a line of symmetry. That is, a, that is another way. If we did not want to use our project, protract, protractor, but you were all brave souls and you all did it anyway, we could have just, we could have folded the paper at line C. And did they match up? 
Yes. Excellent. What amazed me about the, the angle of incident and reflection is that the, the students themselves were the ones that brought up the symmetry. Um, we were using a protractor, but they could see that if they, they brought up from themselves, if they had folded the paper, the light um, there is symmetrical, the way the angle in and the angle out. So that was ex really exciting to me. And they were able to pull up some of that knowledge that they had about their math. They were able to identify the angles as acute or obtuse. Um, and very easily with the protractors that were provided in the kit, they could read the protractor. And for third grade, that is, to me, that is fantastic.